Mike Smith joined by Amarion Brown, Highland Community College defensive back and sophomore looking to get the next chapter of his uh, football career and, of course, uh, academic career uh, underway as well. But before we get to that, I wanted to look back at your time at Highland here, Amarion, and, uh, you know, obviously an exceptional year for yourself as a sophomore this year, earning all-conference honors. But what, uh, you know, what's going to stand out to you when you look at uh, your time here at Highland and the coaching staff and kind of how they helped you? Uh, just how well, you know, they uh, prepared me for the next level. I think uh, coming in from the start, I didn't, I was a little iffy about Highland or whatnot, but uh, they definitely made sure that I, that it was the right choice that I had made and made sure that they better educated me as a football player and as a student. You and uh, the defensive back crew were uh, pretty potent over these last couple of years and had some success in, uh, you know, picking off some passes. Uh, you know, that interception game against uh, Coffeyville, six of them in, in that contest for you and the guys in, in that crew. Uh, what's going to be uh, a memory that you take away from, uh, you know, playing with uh, those group of guys like that? Uh, the, hard, the hard work we done put together. We, um, that's our rolling group. So <laughs> uh, that's probably the most memorable thing I'm going to miss out of those guys. We look back to, you know, we talked about the coaches and, and how they've kind of helped you, but we, coming into Highland, you know, obviously most guys that come here don't know what to expect and, and, and the JUCO level as well in, in general, but uh, what's something that you would tell a player that would be considering to go, you know, JUCO and maybe come here to Highland that would be uh, something that they should consider uh, if they had that opportunity? Uh, yeah, JUCO is not a bad route to take. Um, you know, everybody look at JUCO as a... Um, Oh, it's not the right thing to do, you know. Uh, you're way better than that, but JUCO is really just, you know, that block in between of where you can um, elevate yourself, you know, get better learning and everything. It's, so um, JUCO, I mean, if they think it's the perfect route, then it's the perfect route. Um, not everybody necessarily has to go JUCO, but I think it's, you know, if you're under-recruited, you know, that would be the right step to take. You got opportunities now because uh, of your you know, playing ability here that uh, you get to play at the next level. And I know you got several uh, opportunities on, on the docket for you, but what was it like to be able to realize that you are going to be able to move on uh, to the next level and be able to you know, continue to play football? Uh, it's great. You know, not too many people can get that second chance to keep playing football and, uh, and going to school. You know, glad to be using this as a, as a way of paying for school. <laughs> What are you looking forward to uh, the most with the next, uh, you know, step in your future? Um, just playing, you know, playing football, education, getting education-wise, uh, you know, just living life, you know, basically. Well, Marion, it's been a pleasure, man, uh, watching you play here at Highland. I'll let you out of here on this one. Uh, when you look back at Highland Community College, what would be something you would tell someone about this college that uh, you'll take away, you know, from your experience and like a little selling point, I guess, on Highland? Um, it's definitely a great place to get your education from. Since there's not much to do, there's not much to get distracted by. You, um, you get your work done, football is to take care of itself, and it's, it's a great tradition what they're building out here. Omarion, well, the best of luck uh, with your future, man, and uh, we all want to see you uh, achieve some big things.